In this video, I'll show you how to calculate differences between dates or times in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael, and I make quick tips and tutorials on using Calc software. Sometimes I find myself trying to find difference between certain dates or trying to add certain days or amounts to some dates. And actually, LibreOffice Calc does this very nicely and simply for us if we just put in the dates and times that we want. Besides this, sometimes I'll search online for a date calculator, but I find that using Calc is very easy and you can do it whenever you want. So to get started, I'll go ahead and just put in an arbitrary date and you can test this yourself on your own as well. I'll put in two separate dates. One is in May and I'll put another one in September. But to find how many days there are between these two dates, it's just a simple formula. So I'll type in equals and then you can pick the cell, type in the minus, and then click on another cell and press enter. So here they do the calculation for us. Now, sometimes if you get some weird format in the result, all you have to do is make sure you go to format cells and in the number, instead of choosing general, pick something that fits what you'd like to see and then we'll click okay. Now for time, it's very much the same thing. So I'll just type in some time and then I'll put in another time. And then if we use a similar formula, so I'll type equal. Now choose one cell, type in minus, choose another cell and press enter then this tells us how much the time difference is, which is six hours and 10 minutes. Now, similarly, if we have a date that we'd like to use, and let's say March, and then we wanna know what is the date, a certain amount of days from now. So I'll just maybe put in 42 days. And using a formula, we can go ahead and calculate that. This time I'll use plus. And then now it tells us what the date is. 42 days from March 25th, 2023. And if you wanted to subtract the days, instead of using plus in the formula, you can always use a minus as well. So that's it for today's quick tip. If you'd like to learn anything else about Calc, please write them in the comment below. Thanks for watching this video, and as always, stay nifty.